trial runs. As if not recalling that waddling child who last fall lurched and fell one fall and then another down these fewest yards of most gentle slope, the redhead toddler now this spring charges as if feathers had grown from the heels and balls of feet down my same greening lawn, a runway for takeoff without those tears of dismay, such wobbling like a newborn fawn or colt, but as if launching a whirligig kite, or else being the kite cast up for liftoff, itching to soar, unleashed into updraft, fingers and arms spreading wide to ascend through resistless air, milling the wind or becoming it, pennons of breezes streaming from fingertips, finger gaps framing the vertical, huge, dark stripe at which this weightless propulsion aims. That stripes my oak. For these young parents, danger to their child. Beckoned back just in time to the launch pad for windstream or kite, a revved up turbo still insatiate, untroubled to hitch up the funky shorts drooping down the legs, fashion's design filched from the wars, combat fatigues, comic camouflage in taupe, gray, buff, sand. For this intrepid toddler, no foot soldier yet, ever, the parents hoping their child might whisk past the daily charades of disguises, as if deeds might be crystalline, sentences fearless. In cartwheels, the kid, as wind or kite, always not to be fallen. And the feet, in tiny and winged red sneakers, incessantly skimming a lawn never dark, still eluding the proper strides that must be learned as if a muster must be passed. And, with the birthday in fact just a week away, to pacify diligent parents, possibly skipping over the fabled and daunting, fated, irregular, terrible twos.